Tanandi Pamakutumana has threatened legal action against a broadcaster multi-choice for not given uh, the chance to review uh, their impending documentary titled Tracking Tabo Besta. Her lawyers have argued that the streaming of the documentary on online platform Showmax may cause irreparable harm as she did not authorize it. The four-part uh, series looks into the prison escape of convicted rapist and killer Tabo Besta and his partner uh, Makutumana. Well, for more on this, we speak to Dr. Nani Pamakutumana's legal uh, representative, Mr. McLaughlin. Thank you so much for joining us and a good morning to you. I think let's talk firstly um, and just get your initial thoughts on when you found out that the documentary is coming out and uh, how Dr. Makutumana uh, felt when the news came out. Uh, good morning and good morning to your viewers. Obviously, uh, upon receiving or being aware of, 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 of this documentary, um, Dr. Makudumana was quite upset, to be to be frank, and, and and blunt with you. She was she didn't take it well, particularly you know based on the fact that um, the the trial is still is still um, yet to 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 commence, and now we have a documentary series that purports to to reveal. Uh, some details of, you know, of 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 um, evidence that is not yet before court. Okay. That is still con to be contested or challenged. So, um, on those basis, she yeah. felt that you know it is this this is inappropriate. Can, can we can we go into detail about the irreparable harm that Dr. Makutumana feels the documentary will do? Just a little bit no, more detail, yeah. No, obviously we, we, we have authored a correspondence to to uh, Multichoice and to Showmax um, and on, obviously the matter we consider to be sub judice at the moment, except to say that um, we we are taking a legal challenge to, to uh, having this documentary, uh, you know, say, uh, be played before we can even have a a, a sight of of the documentary series. Are you time. saying that you so, you have not had sight of the documentary? No, no, we haven't. Hence our our our, our correspondence to Multi Choice. Have you has that we, request we been made? To have though? a copy. That request for a copy of the documentary has been made? It has been made. Uh, it, what, what do you think the damage could be? And talk to me about examples of your concern about what the damage could be to the legal process that's playing out in the courts. We're talking about the right to fair trial. Mm. It's, it's the right to fair trial. You know, those are, those, those, that, if, if you check on the website of, of Shormex, for instance, but they what what I mean they're making a very startling announcement they um trying to sell the story to say uh, amongst others they are going to show how a celebrity doctor fell for a convicted criminal and left her children behind to go on the run with him, and who really died in cell uh, those are those are startling claims. That 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 Showmax is making. In actual fact, Showmax is actually saying to you, to to the public, we are going to show you exactly what happened, and we are going to give you evidence. We are going to we are going to show you how guilty a person is before an accused who has a right to a fair trial. Let me ask you this. Yes. Let me ask you this, Mr. McLeod, yes. because they, 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 this is certainly a story that has been told over and over again by journalists uh, yes. in the country. I mean, has Dr. Nandi Pamakutumana taken issue with journalists covering the story? Because essentially, uh, what the director and producer of the film, that I, who I just spoke to, and I know you were watching that conversation, have said is that, well, no, telling the story is not very, okay. Well, what they've said is, telling the story through a documentary series is not any different from what journalists have been doing in covering uh, the story of Dr. Makutumana and uh, Tabo Besta. Okay. I, I, think, I think it suffice to say we're talking here of of, of an offensive conduct that 
that infringes on an accused person to uh, uh, accused person's rights to a fair trial. Yeah. That's that's the that's the heartbeat. That's the basis of our legal challenge. Now, I've just uh, quoted a, a you know a punchline on their on their website where they are saying they are going to show how. Now, the reporting that has been coming through was not a reporting, you know, outside the documentary series. Mm. There's never been a reporting that seeks to, to, to claim that whatever they are reporting on is accurate, is correct, and has been proven beyond reasonable doubt. But if you read your, your closer reading of this passage on, on their webpage, say something else. Surely, this talks to the infringement of accused rights to a fair trial. So where do we draw the line? Because ultimately, this is a high-profile case that has a massive uh, uh, public interest. So, uh, again, I raise the point that journalists have been covering the story for well over a year at this point. So at what point do you then start to say that even the journalism that has been conducted over Dr. Nandi Pamakutumana and Tabo Besta's story uh, may be then meddling with the case? Where does that line actually begin for you? Yeah, look, it's, it's, it's a question that, that would, it's a legal question, yeah. It's a legal question. By the way, even your, your own, uh, I don't know if they, they managed to answer you on, on, on the legalities of, of this, uh, your own guests uh, from, you know, this documentary service, if they were also at liberty to, to respond to you on, on the legal issues that emanate from this, you know. Yeah, they've essentially case. said that they will leave that up to the lawyers to handle. Yes, yes. So we, we don't have to argue a case. Um, through the media. All that we are saying is that we have made a request for a copy of this documentary series to be made available to the legal team for us to be in a position to then have the insight of what the documentary series is about. It could be well and good that what they are promising there on their webpage is not actually there on the documentary series. Yeah. So we can't be ahead of ourselves. We, we let's allow the process to unfold. Yeah. Mr. Mr. Mutraoum, the there is also the argument, though, that... But you the, don't allow me to finish I, I apologize. Point. Okay, go ahead and finish your point. Yes. I'm saying you, we, we have to receive the copy of the documentary series, review what, it's, what it entails, what the content is, and then take a decision whether or not what is in that documentary series. Is it really offensive to the accused rights to a fair trial or not? So we are not even there yet, but we are saying, we are saying we are well and good within our rights to, to demand a copy before a release of this document. Do you, that's, that's where we are. Okay. Do, do you believe that the documentary series will be considered evidence that is admissible in court? I mean, that's that's essentially the ultimate question here. I mean, and, and that's not necessarily um, an example that we've seen before. Certainly not in the Senzo Meiwa uh, trial did we see the documentary used as evidence in the trial. No one has said that. Mm. Yes. No one has said that. I'm not too sure what, 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 the, what, what is the, the genesis of this question. No one has said that. Mm -hmm. not, nothing comes out of, even in our correspondence, no one has said the documentary series will be used as evidence. Mm. Yes. So what is the next step? So there's step? no legal basis for this question. Okay. Uh, that's okay. I, I have to ask the questions, Mr. Mutlong. What's the next step for you and Dr. Nandi Pamakutumana? What is? Pamakutumana? What is the next step for yourself and Dr. Nandi Pamakutumana then in this uh, battle between yourselves and multi-choice? Um, to, to, be, to be quite frank, uh, the battle lines have not been thrown as yet. Okay. All that we, are, we have done is to place them, place them in more to say, give us the copy of the documentary series um, by uh, this date, failing which we'll consider our options. Okay. Um, the producer and director of uh, the documentary, Tracking Tabo Besta, who I just spoke to moments ago, say this uh, documentary series is being released on the 15th of March. Um, yes. I mean, are you confident that you'll be able to delay uh, the release of that documentary, at least halted? You see, we'll be ahead of ourselves. We don't know. They might come back today and give us the copy. We might go through the, the, the documentary series 
ourselves and find nothing. Okay, and what are the time frames that you're giving them then for you so to be able to that see? that hypothetical situation might not even arise. Okay. So we don't know. We have given them um, a timeline to, to comply with our request, failing which we will explore our legal remedies. And what is that timeline, Mr. McClough? We're giving them until today. Okay. Until the yes. end of today to hand over a copy of the documentary. And if you find um, that you, perhaps yourself and uh, your client, Dr. Nandi Pamakutumani, are um, unhappy or dissatisfied with uh, some of the contents of that documentary series, what then? I mean, surely you thought that There will be a legal far. challenge. Yeah. There will be a legal challenge, surely. There will be a legal challenge. Okay. Um, and, and are you hoping for a physical handover of the copy? I mean, how do you expect to receive the copy? I'm just trying to yes. get the logistical elements of this now. Wh whichever, whichever uh, you know, way and, 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 and that they would do it, they would communicate with us. If it's, 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 it's electronic copy, uh, well and good, as long as this is the copy that is going to be presented to us is the, copy, is the true copy of the documentary series that is to be shown or streamed later on as scheduled. Uh, certainly in the making of the documentary, what we've heard from the producer and director uh, is that obviously a lot of elements going into it and of course they're, they're saying to us that we're going to uh, really see what they've put together on the 15th, not giving us too much about uh, what's in it, really creating that anticipation. But in the making of the documentary, were you as Dr. Nani Pamakutumana's uh, legal representative uh, spoken to? Did the, uh, the production company reach out to you at all for your contribution to the documentary series? Not at all. We actually stunned to see the trailer circulating in the media space. We stunned. It was for the first time that we even know that there was something going on behind the scenes. You know, they took everyone by surprise, including the legal team for Dr. Makudumana. Uh, What's been the response from uh, Nandipa Makudumana's family? Family? Yes. No, no, no. Remember, I'm representing Dr. Makudumana as a client. Mm. Like, uh, the family. Okay, you're drawing the line there. All right. Um, well, we'll be watching closely. Do let us know then if you do receive that copy by today. Uh, Dr. Nandi Pamakutumana's legal representative there, Machini Mutloun, saying um, that the production company has until today uh, to submit a copy of that documentary tracking Tabo Besta, uh, of course, citing that the release or uh, screening uh, of the documentary will cause irreparable harm. Uh, Machini Mutloun speaking to us there. We'll uh, follow up that story very, very closely. Well,